everybody, it's Zechariah. As of you know, I am Zechariah running for fellow police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who lose their life in line of duty in 2020. And of course, you see, I'm running for another fire captain who has passed away. And set running for fire captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo. He worked at the Blissfield Township Fire Department in Michigan, and his end of watch was November 17, 2020, and lost his life um, after the vehicle he was in lost control on a gravel road after he responded he was responding to a, a barn fire call. He was only 34 years old at the time of his passing and served a total of six years with the Blissfield Township Fire Department in Michigan. He, pre he previously served with the Madison Township uh, Fire Department in Leesburg. Uh, he previously served with the um, Madison um, Fire Fire, the Township Fire Department as a firefighter and EMT. Um, he, um, he also served and uh, leaves behind a uh, uh, parents and brother. Today I'll be running the Redline flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school, which is the equivalent of Lamar in his honor. I'll be doing some up at the U.S. Customs and Border Protection who are going to be patrolling and running from tonight. Um, I know that every every I even though it's only me and two others running at the same time, there's many more running that soldier phone I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallup. Before it starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hardship I'm going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those tuning in tonight, tonight Zachary running his second mile of the evening. This mile, in honor of fallen fire captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo. He worked with the Blissfield Township Fire Department in Michigan. His last alarm was November the 17th, 2020. Tragically, he lost his life after the vehicle he was driving in lost control on a gravel road while he was responding to a barn fire fire call. He was 34 years old. Along with serving with the Blissfield Township Fire Department for six years, he also served with the Madison Township Fire Department as both a firefighter and an EMT. He leaves behind parents as well as a brother. Zachary completing his first of seven laps to honor this fallen hero tonight. We're so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out and help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zechariah. Tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen fire captain Joseph Joe Gallo, we have members of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection both patrolling behind Zechariah and running with him tonight. Once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to fallen fire captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo. He worked with the Blissfield Township Fire Department of Michigan as well as the Madison Township Fire Department. He served six years as a first responder, all six years with the Blissfield Township Fire Department. The, also served his last two years with Madison Township as both a firefighter and an EMT. Tragically lost his life after the vehicle he was in. Lost control on a gravel road while responding to a barn call fire. Zachary like putting his second lap to honor this hero. For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag, this flag, a red line flag. This flag will be sent to the family of fallen fire captain Joseph Gallo, or Joe Gallo, tomorrow, along with a note that Zechariah wrote in his honor. If you'd like information on it, you can be a part of this mission. Visit running, the number four heroes.org. Also in February, every first responder that Zechariah runs for is going to be on a running for heroes race car in Daytona. If you'd like information on how you can help get a name on that car, Please message us. We'll be more than happy to provide details for you. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the remainder of the run as we remember the life of fallen fire captain Joseph Joe Gallo. 
Our prayers go out to the Gilo family, his parents, his brother. Our prayers also go out to everybody with the Blissfield Township Fire Department as well as the Madison Township Fire Department. And the community is mourning the loss of this hero tonight. We hope this run brings you comfort and peace as we always remember the service of fallen fire captain Joe Gallo. <laughs> Zecher, any final words for the family of fallen fire captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo? Hi, fallen. 
Fire Captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo's whole family. Joe, also known as Joe Gallo's whole family and everybody with the Blissfield Township Fire Department in Michigan Hills this hard time. He was such a true hero, one who dedicated his life each and every day to protect his community. Uh, passing away at the only age of 34, you know, it's very young to gender my parents, you know, that's, you know, he was one of those younger people that passed away in the line of duty, and, you know, it's very sad to hear that, because that's another fallen young person that we had to run for, and I know that he was going to serve lots more years to come, which is very unfortunate, you know, and my, my, my prayers go out to his whole family tonight, you know, I always say, you know, sometimes I don't go the fastest um, that I can, um, as you guys can tell sometimes, but, you know, tonight I was I, not not that because they were more special, but I just was thinking, you know, I haven't done this in a little bit. I, I should go out and go as fast as I can because, you know, they, they, they deserve it. Um, they, they, they were, these two people were true heroes, one from COVID-19 who passed from one from um, having um, his vehicle going out of control. So if you, if you guys were hearing me tired at the end, you know, that's why, you know, uh, my line is always, you know, the faster we go, the faster the family's heals. So hopefully, the family's uh, found comfort and humble through that run. I hope with the help of the red line flag, I'll be sending them very, very soon. They also heal, as well as a handwritten note, which I'll also be sending. For both runs tonight, the only people we had was U.S. Customs Global Protection. I want to thank them for coming out and pretty much um, saving us from having to delay both runs because, you know, we are always required to have one person out now because, you know, one officer out now because, you know, um, because I have a... Uh, a uh, high scale of followers. We we want to we want to make sure that I'm safe and just in case something happens. So I want to thank them all for coming out. You know I know this is not on my mind because I always uh, usually forget this, but you know I know on their minds. Other than having a good run, making sure nothing's messed up, they're also looking around, making sure I'm protected. So I want to thank them and every single officer that comes out here all the time. I want to thank them for all they've done. If you'd like to join a 10 second moment of silence, each second day kidding one second. Uh, each second day, kidding, one amazing thing he did serving. Uh, you may be wondering why 10 seconds. He served less because we deserve. We think he deserves more because I know he was going to serve a lot more years in the future. Afterwards, we'll be doing a prayer start uh, 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 started by me. But first, let's do the 10 second moment of silence. Uh, it will hit the families, the family of Fire Captain Joseph, also known as Joe Gallo. If you do join me in this run tonight, it will also help the departments he he worked for, the two departments. Thank you very much if you join me in silence. Like I said, the families will be smiling if you did join me in just that 10 seconds. He was, I want to say one thing about him, you know, he was very young. He served as a firefighter and an EMT with two, with two different places. That's truly incredible. Um, I'm very sorry for what happened to him. Now, if you all would like to join me, please bow your heads once, one, once more for a quick prayer for the two runs tonight and the families. Dear God, we are here again talking to you tonight. You know, it's, it's another two miles we have to run for, and that, you know, that's not it. We still have three more to do as of now uh which is very sad we'll be doing one in arizona but let's hope that over the weekend uh we we have a break because you know I'll, i'm gonna be gone and let's hope that once i get back we don't have to get caught up a lot you know our office and firefighters and border protection officers and border patrol officers that are out there every single day on the front line i want to thank you god for putting amazing people there i want to thank you as well for putting doctors and dispatchers and um, you know, every other first responder out there in the front line during 2020, because you know, I know that you're, you, you, you do not like COVID-19, you do not like how 2020 is turning out, but I know that because of your angels on earth that you put on the front line, which is our first responders, uh, 2020 is getting better, uh, because of them, because they're going out to call us still, they're helping people through COVID-19, like doctors, and they're going out there and giving it their all. So thank you very much for putting amazing people on the front line. And I know that every single year you have more angels up in heaven that were first responders that passed away in line of duty. Unfortunately, the two runs I did tonight were two more people that are added up in heaven. And I know that they, you, you, I know that they're doing great stuff up there. Um, but I know the families are going through a very tough time, um, a very tragic time, and a very uh, depressing and hard time. So I, I want you to guide the family. If they have not seen this, I want you to guide the families to the runs tonight. So they can find as much comfort and happiness as possible because, you know, during these runs, other than, you know, um, inspiring people to do good in the world like I am, 
I also want the families to be guided to these runs so they can find more happiness to know that their fallen hero would never be forgotten. So please guide these two families to the run tonight and show and show them how much of a hero their fallen uh, their fallen uh, family member or friend in law enforcement was um, and at war and firefighting was and that we'll never forget them. Thank you God for all that you've done uh, and let's hope that over the weekend and uh, tomorrow we have um, a, a span of nobody passing away or just one or two passing away because I know that through 2020 it's very hard to not have a few days where nobody's passed away. But please keep everybody safe and please lead everybody on the run tonight to a prayer to keep all first runners safe as well. Thank you again, God, and have a good night. Amen. Amen. Thank you all again for joining me on the two runs tonight. Like I said, we did have three runs to do. Uh, we still have three runs to do, but we decided to do two tonight so we can, so my mom and dad can have time to pack and so I can go home and uh, relax and uh, enjoy my time before bed. Um, so um, that's why we had two runs tonight. I uh, hope you all have a great night. If you're a first runner tonight, please stay safe. We're going to Arizona over the weekend. We'll be doing one mile there. So please stay tuned for that mile and please stay tuned for any pictures and videos we post when we're in Arizona. Once again, thank you for watching and I pray God blesses you all.